Today, we're going to look at how to dry a jacketed glass lab reactor in situ prior to use. The traditional way to dry smaller lab glassware prior to doing chemistry is to warm the components in a vacuum oven for several hours. Draining and replacing the heat transfer fluid and the use of traditional couplings often means that jacketed lab reactor systems are rarely, if ever, dismantled. CIP and SIP equipment and procedures have become increasingly common. As we scale up chemical processes, the equipment gets larger. It gets more cumbersome, more difficult, more impractical to deal with, to take out of frameworks, put into vacuum ovens, and hours later take them back out of the vacuum oven, reassemble them into the framework. Setting a system up and then drying the glassware in place reduces the risk of damaging glass components and eliminates exposure to moist air by not moving them around the lab. Drying glassware like this in situ is generally accepted as the preferred way to eliminate moisture in the system prior to use. The techniques used are the same as when using a vacuum oven. We apply a gentle heat and a vacuum for a period of time. Exactly what level of vacuum and how much heat to apply to what temperature, for how long, is defined by the chemist using an SOP standard operating procedure or by the lab supervisor. With AVA we can use an overhead stirrer and also a circulator for controlling temperature normally on jacket control, even if a process temperature control is attached to the system. We can have a vacuum controller connected to a vacuum pump and then put in a simple program to be able to control the jacket temperature to, for example, 100 degrees centigrade. Hold at 100 degrees for a period of time. Simultaneously, we can then ramp a vacuum down to approximately, say, 500 millibar. After a period of time, uh, that can be held until the chemist returns and now that the reactor is dry, it can be purged with argon or nitrogen. This is usually done using a vacuum manifold or Schlenk line, a common piece of laboratory apparatus found in most chemistry labs around the world. So that's how you dry a jacketed glass lab reactor system prior to use. To learn more about jacketed lab reactors, visit our website. We also have a full library of webinars available on demand.